Hi, it's Darnell with Way Loving Recipes, and today I'm going to be cooking up some brown rice and chicken with some Alfredo sauce in the Instant Pot. I'm going to get that brown rice and that chicken in there. It's going to be frozen chicken breasts in there. Cook them up in the Instant Pot, then throw some Alfredo sauce in there and get it heated up and have some nice rice with chicken and Alfredo sauce for a nice meal. And I'm going to show you how that's done right now. All right, so I've got my Instant Pot Ultra 60 here. And for the ingredients for this cook to start, I've got my uh, boneless, skinless, frozen chicken breast here. I'm going to be putting a little uh, freshly ground black pepper in there. Two Instant Pot cups of rice. And I'm going to put in now two Instant Pot cups of water. No trivet. All right, so I got my two cups from the Instant Pot cup of water there. I've got my brown rice here. I'm going to pour that right on in. And I want to say, if I were just cooking brown rice alone, I would use two and a half cups. I found when I use two and a half cups of water with uh, two cups of brown rice, everything comes out more moist than just using two cups of uh, water. They recommend in their recipe two cups of water with the brown rice, but you're going to get something that's a bit drier if you do it their way. So if I were just doing the rice alone, like I said, I would do two and a half cups with two cups of the rice using the Instant Pot measure cups. But since I'm doing these chicken breasts in there also, they're going to have some added fluid, so I'm not adding any extra fluid. All right, now I'm going to, I'm just going to kind of move the rice around so that it's uh, not in a pile in there. All right, now I'm going to just get some chicken breast and stick in here. See, this one is huge. I'm going to stick that huge one in there. I'm going to get two of these because two of these will have so much meat that they'll uh, be more than enough meat to go with the rice that's going on in there. So I'm going to go ahead and with that get my, my pepper, about to say salt. I'm not going to use any extra salt here. I also wanted to mention, I personally don't rinse my rice. I know, you know, a lot of people like to rinse their rice before they cook it. I don't. That's uh, my personal preference there. I'm just going to put some pepper on. I'm going to close my Instant Pot up. Alright, now that I've got my Instant Pot closed up, I'm going to just get it woke up and I'm going to turn until I get to multi-grain since I'm using brown rice. Now I'm in multi-grain and I just hit in there and it's already defaulted to 22 minutes which is the default and that's what I want and it's got high pressure it's got no delay and definitely want to keep warm for this I'll be making use of that later so going to go ahead and hit the start button I'll bring you back in a bit okay things are cooking in the instant pot I've turned it so that it can have the steam come up away from my cabinets but I wanted to mention that even when I do my brown rice alone I do a 10 minute natural release after it does its 22 minute cook so with this I'm letting it do the 22 minute cook and then I'll do a 10 minute natural release I'll bring you back when that's all finished all right the uh, 10 minutes of natural release time is almost up this took a long time cooking in the preheat phase because that chicken was frozen all right, 10 minutes have passed in the natural release time. So I'm going to go ahead and stand safely back and press the pressure release button. So here we go. All right, the pressure is fully released. Going to just open the lid here. So now, inside the pot, we've got ourselves some uh, cooked up chicken and rice. Alright, we've got our cooked chicken and rice in there and so you can see the chicken is fully cooked, the rice is fully cooked. I'm just breaking up the chicken some to mix it up with the rice. And what I'm also going to do, I've got myself some Alfredo sauce here. I'm going to pour this in. I'm just going to get it all mixed up with the chicken that I'm breaking up in the rice.
And I'm going to swap my lid now for this pressure cooker lid. I'm going to swap out of this one. So I'm not going to do any more pressure cooking now. Next I'll be using this regular lid. So uh, we'll get to that in a moment. I'm just going to get this wiped off. A little bit of sauce wiped off the handle. I'm going to continue breaking up this chicken and mixing in the sauce and the rice in with the chicken. Alright, so I've got everything in my pot. Remember, I'm still on the keep warm setting after the cook. So I'm just going to put my regular lid on at this point. I'm going to let things just kind of stay warm. Let that sauce get warm in there in the pot with the chicken and the rice for a little bit. Give it maybe about 10-15 minutes. Just let it kind of set and get warm. Probably come back in about 15 minutes and uh, then we'll start doing some plate and taste testing. All right, so things have been keeping warm for about 15 minutes since I got things all stirred up. So just going to go ahead and get myself a bowl of this uh, rice and chicken alfredo. So uh, there it is. Let's get a little more. Let's get a little more. All right. I won't eat all this in front of you. I'll just do a quick taste test of one forkful. So I'm going to get the camera swap and then we'll do a taste test of this. All right, our rice and chicken Alfredo. Let's give it a taste. It's piping hot. Mmm. Very good. Very good chicken Alfredo with rice. So that's how you uh, can cook that up and you know if you want to do your brown rice individually we talked about that earlier so you know the instant pot just makes things really convenient yeah it takes a while if you're putting frozen chicken in there for things to cook up however it's just so convenient to throw it all in one pot and get it all taken care of really easy so this is how you can do it in the instant pot I look forward to your comments you can find this and other recipes at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can get directly to this YouTube channel through waveovenrecipes.com. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at waveovenrecipes. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Subscribe to the channel. And good eating.